you know, it seems like someone had been doing some deep diving into what happens at my apartment. Because the only way you can get this right here, either you know what happened back in 2018 or 2019, one of the two, I forget exactly what year it was, but either you know because you are familiar with my old channel or you've been digging deep into police reports at my apartment. That's the only way you would know that I had two swatting calls at my apartment. Now, if y'all are familiar with swatting calls, y'all know those are prank phone calls to the police. And I had two of those, I had two of them. And I take those seriously because I have never ever in my life before then had a gun drawn on me, never. So let me tell y'all about those two incidents. Since this person want to put it into a chat, let me explain to the idiot what happened. Now, in October, like I said, I'm, I think it was 2018. It might've been 2019. So in 2019, I'm gonna say 2019. So in 2019, someone called the police, Stoughton police, around one o'clock in the morning and told them that I had a gun outside in the parking lot. Now, like I said, this is one o'clock in the morning, 1 a.m. in the morning. Now, the police came to my house and I'm in the bed, sleep, knocked out. I hear my knocking on my door. So I gets up and I go to the balcony window, that same window y'all see me sitting in front of when I'm doing my live streams. I looked down onto the ground. I noticed there was a police officer on my neighbor's porch and on the ground. So then I go to the door and I peep through the, the peephole and I noticed there's some police outside the door. When they were saying, they was announcing themselves also. So I opened the door and when I opened the door, they telling me to get my hands up, put your hands up. They yelling, get, get your hands up, get your hands up. So I put my hands up and they tell me to walk out into the hallway. So I walks out into the hallway and I looks up to the left. I got a guy standing right there on the stairways pointing a gun at me. Like I said, I never had a gun pointed at me in my life. Never. That was the first time ever. So I'm sitting here now, I'm, I'm pissed off. Like what's going on? So there was a little commotion because I'm pissed off. I'm trying to figure out what the hell going on. I'm telling them I haven't did shit. I've been asleep. So finally, they did tell me someone had called them and said that I was outside shooting with a gun. Now, what really pisses me off even more is in my complex is very quiet. Now, you would think the police will have common sense to realize if you drive up into a neighborhood and there is no one outside, not even the person who so-called called them is outside. There is no commotion, but you just had a call saying that there was a shooting in the parking lot. So that really teed me off. So after everything calmed down and they told me what happened and they left, they didn't even apologize. They just left. So the next day, I called and talked to a sergeant and I told him how pissed off I was about having a gun drawn on me, no apology given. They just left. So he tells me, he said, well, if it happens again, what we'll do, we'll give you a phone call. And just to see what's going on, we're going to still send someone out, but we're just going to see if there's anything going on before we, you know, send out, you know, all this crazy stuff. So, okay. So like a month and a half after that, I think it was like November 19th, it happens again. But this time it happens, it was like seven o'clock in the evening, 7 p.m. in the evening. So I did get a phone call from the police department first. And the guy I spoke to, he was like, well, go downstairs and speak to the officer who's going to respond and just tell him that everything is, everything is clear. I said, okay. So I went downstairs. I went to the back 
door where the parking lot is at. I didn't see the wind. Now it's dark again in Massachusetts in November at seven o'clock it's pitch dark outside. So I go out back. I didn't see a police officer. So I walked to the front and I noticed there was a police officer at the entrance of the complex. So I started walking towards him. So by the time I started walking towards him, another one pulled up behind me coming from the back of the building. And he tells me to get my hands up. And I'm like, what the hell going on here? I just spoke to someone. They told me to come downstairs and speak to y'all and let y'all know it was, everything was fine. But this guy, he's been aggressive. He's telling me to walk back towards the car, backwards towards the car, and keep my hands up. And he got his gun out. Then they got the streets blocked off in front of my building in the whole nine. So I'm mad. I'm upset now because I just spoke to an officer. He told me what to do, and I did it. And now I'm sitting here again, once again, got guns pointed at me. So I'm pissed. I'm very pissed. So finally, the officer behind me comes up. He grabs me. I had a phone in my hand. He dropped, I, I, I dropped the phone and he put me in handcuffs. Now I'm yelling and I'm pissed off. So he tells me now, the, then they finally tells me once again, someone called them saying that there was a gun. I, well, it was a shooting going on, something like that. Same apartment, same person a month and a half later. Once again, police not using common sense. What are the odds of you getting two phone calls, knowing that the first one was a prank phone call, then you get another prank phone call and you react the exact same way. You come in with your guns blazing, knowing that it's pretty much going to be a prank phone call. Because you're not going to get two exact phone calls to the exact same address within a month and a half. So I'm totally pissed. And this is why I said people need to understand these swatting calls are serious. And people can get killed from these swatting phone calls. Matter of fact, I remember, I think before Myers happened, I think maybe two years, three years prior, someone in Kansas got killed on a swatting phone call. So this is no joke. I wish, I, I really wish they will make that a felony phone, a felony crime, and they really took it seriously. But they don't take these calls seriously. They really don't. They don't really put too much effort in tracking these people down. But these people get, can get people killed. So the idiot that left this comment here, I want him to understand. I don't play with prank phone calls. And those swatting calls that came to my house had nothing to do with real crimes. They were pranks. Bottom line.